Hello students. In this session, let us see the procedure for bituminous mix design using Marshall stability method. So, design of bituminous mixes involves the following steps. The first step is for the selection of aggregates. You have to choose which is the nearest, nearest quarry to procure the material and do the aggregate gradation as per the requirement and we have to determine the specific gravity of various aggregates and we, the proportioning will be done so that the gradation of the uh, taken aggregates will meet the requirement as per the MRTH specification. So these uh, steps were already discussed in the previous session. In this session we will see how the bituminous mixes sample will be prepared for uh, to, uh, using the Marshall stability method and determination of uh, the various uh, volumetrics and uh, finally how the optimum binder contact will be determined using uh, Marshall stability mix design will be understand in this session. We have already learned that aim of any bituminous mix design is to determine the properties of aggregates and the proportion of various materials that are used in the bituminous mixes and the what mix you will get that should have sufficient stability to satisfy the service requirement it should have a sufficient bitumen to ensure a durable payment and sufficient what should be there in the compacted mix so as to provide a reservoir space for the uh, amount of additional compaction that is expected due to traffic and the mix what we prepared that should possess the sufficient flexibility and it should be workable and overall the mix what we prepared that should produce that should be stable stable durable and should produce a skid resistant payment keeping all these into the mind will determine the how the proportioning of various material will be done using the Marshall stability test and we will also determine the percentage of bitumen that is nothing but the optimum binder content to produce the stable mix. Let us first look into the how the specimen will be prepared for the Marshall stability test. So for preparing the specimen we require a mold of 10 cm diameter and 6.5 cm height that should consist of a base plate and a collar so that any additional material that is will not be wasted during the compaction and it should consist of the interchangeable uh, base plate and the collar can be used because when we do when we compact the Marshall stability uh, specimen the compaction has to be done on the both side that's why we are uh, making use of the interchangeable base plate and the collar. And for the compaction, the mix, prepared mix will be placed in the mold and it should be compacted using the rammer uh, for about 25 number of blows on each side. Okay, first compact it on the upper side, then reverse the collar and compact it again for 75 number of blows. So for the compaction, we generally use a hammer of 4.54 kg and height of fall is 45.7 centimeter. And while compacting the mix, you have to ensure that the compaction temperature for the mix is 135 degrees centigrade for uh, 60 to 70 uh, grade of bitumen. And the, finally, the compacted thickness of the specimen should be 63.5 plus or minus 3.0 percentage. By if the compacted thickness achieved, if it is not under these limit, then the suitable correction has to be applied for the stability what value what we have obtained. How that corrections will be applied that we will look further. But now the standard size of the thick, thickness of the compact specimen should be equal to 63.5 plus or minus 3 mm. Next is the preparation of uh, specimen. So to prepare one specimen of martial stability we require around 1200 grams of aggregates and filler materials is required. So these material, okay, so when I call up, when I talk about the aggregates that consisting of both coarse aggregate, 
fine aggregates and filler material so all together we require to prepare one sample we require 1200 grams of material so you can see here all the aggregates of various sizes have taken and this will be proportioned as per the proportion what we obtain in the root first method and weigh the material and the individual all the material must be first heated to a temperature of 150 to 170 degree temperatures play a vital role in the preparation of the bituminous mixes it is very much essential to maintain the temperature during mixing during compaction and also during the laying of the bituminous mixes now the all the aggregates what we have taken that must be heated to a temperature of 150 to the 170 degree and in the separate container you have to heat the bitumen to a temperature of 150 to 165 65 degree and the amount of bitumen to be added will be dependent upon the requirement so generally on the first trial you will consider some let us say first trial we will start with the two percentage of bitumen in the next trial it has to be increased to 2.5 or 3 percentage or 4 percentage 5 percentage etc okay on each and every trials you need to increase the percentage of bitumen that we have added and then using that results what we obtain we have to find out the optimum binder content or obc which will give you the maximum stability and low value the both heated aggregate and the bitumen are mixed together at a temperature of about 165 degree and then it will be filled into the mold and uh, while uh, compacting they will have to ensure that the temperature of compacting specimen should be around 100 degree centigrade to 145 degree centigrade okay after the mixing is done transfer the material bituminous mix material into the mold place the collar and apply 75 number of blows on either side of the bituminous sample and compact the mix the compacted specimen is then extracted out and for after 24 hours that is ensure that the complete cooling of the bituminous mix material will be done that sample what we have prepared the compacted specimen has to be ex extracted you can use the manual extractor or Marshall machine you have a extractors will be provided any of them using the manual extractor or the Marshall machine you can extract the sample and then the sample has to be heated to a standard temperature testing temperature of 160 degree or plus or minus 160 degree this can be achieved by immersing the bituminous mix sample in the thermostatically controlled water bath for about 30 to 40 minutes to ensure that standard te testing temperature will be attained into the bituminous mixes after uh, the temperature has reached 60 degree take out the specimen from the water bath, bath and place it below the breaking head of the marshal testing the load is generally applied at a rate of 5 centimeter per minute after the completion of the test we will have the load value and then the deformation value using those two we will be going to measure the stability value the two outputs that what we are obtaining from the Marshall stability test are the first one is the stability value and we have to measure the flow value the stability can be defined as the load taken by the specimen at failure okay before the breaking of the specimen how much load the given specimen will take that will gives you the stability value and at this point of time what is the deformation of the specimen okay that will define the flow value thus stability is the load taken by the specimen at failure and flow value is the deformation of the specimen at failure for the stability value what we have obtained this correction can be suitably applied if the height of the specimen is different from 6.35 centimeter i've already mentioned that if the value the thickness of the compacted specimen 
if it is uh, varying other than 63.52 plus or minus 3 mm then the suitable correction has to be applied so we'll see how the Marshall testing machine looks so this is the place where this is the crushing head okay so the load is applied to measure how much load is there we have proving ring is attached to the loading frame and you can see here this is the dial gauge dial gauge will measure the deformation of the specimen so now the prepared specimen has to be placed so if this is the direction in which you you have compacted the specimen but when the testing is done so the specimen has to be placed in the perpendicular direction to the direction where original compaction has been done and after placing the specimen into that uh, uh, master stability testing machine the gradually the load has to be applied and for frequent load application you will have to measure what is the deformation that is there on the bituminous sample so when we apply the correction so this table here will give you the correction factor if the approximate thickness value you can see here the one there is no correction if the compacted thickness value is 63.5 mm if the correction thickness value is between these two values 61.9 then the correction factor will be 1.4 similarly if the thickness what we have obtained is 57 correction factor will be 1.19 and if the thickness value increases the correction sub, uh, corresponding correction factor value will be given so now the stability value value what we have obtained for the given uh, for the compacted thickness that has to be multiplied by the suitable correction correction factor value to get the corrected stability values.